We have now entered the sixth week of Russia's war on Ukraine. The United Nations now making a powerful move in suspending Russia from the UN Human Rights Council. All of this as NATO leaders meet in Brussels to discuss more sanctions for Russia and help for Ukraine. ABC's Alex Perche with the story. This morning, after Russia was suspended from the United Nations Human Rights Council, new scenes like this explain why. This apartment block in Bucha took a direct hit. ABC's James Longman was with a man named Bowden, showing us what the attack did to his friend on the eighth floor. And that is the remains of his friend, his child remains. I mean, I'm looking at his, at his bones, at his, at his body here. Bowden saying he wants the whole world to know the truth about what's happening here. Russia has called scenes like these staged lies. But this morning, German intelligence has reportedly intercepted messages in which Russian troops discuss the indiscriminate killing of civilians. The Washington Post reports in two separate communications, Russian soldiers described questioning Ukrainian soldiers as well as civilians and then shooting them. With each day, more and more credible reports of rape, killings, torture are emerging. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky says the situation is much worse in the town of Boryanka, where investigators say they found 26 bodies buried in rubble Thursday. He's accused Russia of using hunger as a weapon by blocking food supplies. Now, as this war shifts to the eastern part of the country, thousands of civilians are trying to flee. Speaking before NATO, Ukraine's foreign minister warning the battle for the region will be devastating. The battle for Donbas will remind you was Second World War. The U.S. Senate responding by voting to reinstall the Lend-Lease program, basically allowing President Biden to give Ukraine weapons for free, delaying the payments until later. But the House still has to approve the bill.